All righty then. Let's talk about David Morrell says that he gonna beat Benavidez. Uh, David Benavidez, like Terrence Crawford beat his uh, older brother Jose Benavidez. So you know he moving, using all this, he pulling out all the stops to get Benavidez to fight him. A lot of people say, well, you know, Benavidez don't really want to fight David Morrell, but you know, I gotta be real about the situation. But uh, situations and run. So let's uh, keep going with that. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Gang, gang. All right. So, uh, so yeah, he basically saying that he going, you know, trying to get him out, trying to get him to fight on my thing. Is this? He was not people saying, well, better be there saying, Kayla, uh, saying Caleb Plant Petrolo ducking. Why he don't fight David Morrell? David Morrell literally got like six fights, bro. Yes, he's the regular WBA champion, but what does he has to have to offer? to uh what does he have to offer to Benavidez? Come on, what does he have to offer? What am, why am I fighting him? I'm chasing Caleb Plant, a fight that's been built up. I'm chasing Charlo, who called me out. You got six fights. You don't have nothing. You have a regular belt. Let me know when Canelo give you a shot at the super belt. He don't have nothing. And we fight. Can we even put 15,000 people in the Barclays Center? Can we put even 10,000 people in Vegas? Do Vegas even want that fight? It means nothing at this point. I'm just being real. It's like That's like saying, you know, um, uh, Errol Spence ducking Conor Ben. If Conor Ben start calling out Errol Spence tomorrow, like maybe she has. But, you know, oh, he did, you know, he does. Does that make sense? Oh, Chance Crawford ducking Cody Crowley. Come on. Jamel Charlo ducking Tim Zhu. Like, come on, let's be real. This pretty much the equivalent of that. And there's no disrespect, Morel, a bad boy, but there's work to be done. Good amateur career and all that. But other than that, you know, what, what do I get out the deal for beating David Morel? All right, you about to get the WBC interim, but I'm about to be unified interim champion. Unified WBC, WBA interim champion. Come on. So it says, uh, it's wrote by uh, Random Hits. He said, undefeated, super middleweight, David Morrell Jr., 6-0, 5 KOs, uh, who holds the regular WBA title, has his eyes on the main event this weekend between David Benavidez and David Lemieux, Saturday and Showtime. Quote, I'm watching Benavidez and Lemieux carefully this weekend on Showtime, said Morrell, I want the winner. I'm not being shy about it. I feel I'm the best fighter in the division, and it's clear that no one wants to fight me. So I have to call people out because I'm so heavily avoided. You know what I'm just saying? You got six fights. Like, like no cap. You got six fights. Bad boy, you're probably ready for all of them. But the name of the game is you got to build yourself up. Morel, who's been out the ring since his destruction of veteran Alantes Fox last December, put a target on David Benavidez back. Quote, I saw Benavidez mention my name with Jamal Charlo Caleb Plant. Well, I'm here to let you know I'm not afraid of him like these guys are. So, damn. I'm ready to fight him anytime, anywhere. Continue Morel, who resides and represents the Twin Cities of Minneapolis, Minnesota. If Benavidez dares to step in the ring with me, it would be like uh, it would be like when his brother Jose got wrecked by Crawford. There's going to be another Benavidez on the deck, and his name is going to be David, not Jose. I'm putting a target on Benavidez's neck. I'm aiming to take him out. Damn. He got a person. He's going to disrespectful. <laughs> My little fake voice. He got disrespectful. So uh, there you go. He said he's going to knock him out. You know what? I bet against that. Uh, the way he's talking now, nah, but you know, the experience is uh the experience, um the experience, I don't know. That's what you gotta ask, the experience level. But I got oh, I mean, I don't think he hurt for nothing. He's a good fighter, he ain't a regular cube, and they go out there and try to box, he's gonna try to hurt Benavid. That's gonna be an instant classic. You just want to see him get his name up a little bit. You know, that's it. You just want to see him get his name up a little bit. So that that'll that'll be the only thing. Cause Benavidez, what Benavidez get for beat Morale? A Reggie belt? Well, I got the I'm about to get the interim belt Saturday. You know, what what the hell I get for beating uh what the hell I get for beating David uh, David Morale? An amateur trophy or something like that. So it's something you gotta look at. A lot of people gonna say, "Well, you avoid me, like, bro. 
you are like I'm avoiding another champion or I'm avoiding a real top title holder, a real champion. I'm avoiding somebody that's been built up. So, like I said before, I run through them. Who you really be? I be a really be nobody. I mean, damn if you do, damn if you don't. All this is trying to protect Charlo. That's all they doing. It's time to protect Charlo, and pretty much that's it. That's what they doing. You know, you know, he said he he hunt Charlo, but you know he don't fight David Morrell. He don't want to do this. He don't want to do that. He don't want to do. He's looking at them. It's a protection agency. That's all it is. It's a protection agency. That's just what it is. But let's continue. Let's carry y'all. One second. So he said Morrell has been fast tracked since turning pro, and despite only having six fighters, already captured the world title. It's not a real title, it's Reggie. He said, "Quote: I came to America to challenge the best fighters in the world. I did it. I did internationally in the amateurs for my country, Cuban, including Morrell. Quote: When Benavidez and I step in the ring, it will be a monumental showdown. A fight everyone will be clamoring to see. I'm about everybody. I'm going to knock him out cold and establish myself as the next superstar in the division. He's doing what he's supposed to do." He doing he doing he posted doing then John Ryder who just beat Danny Jacobs he 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 didn't want to fight David Morrell understand be sure he got an opportunity to bring Canelo Alvarez um he got an opportunity to bring Can Can Canelo Alvarez um to the UK so why would I even why would I even play with the church's money I, sometimes it just makes too much sense so he, he out here talking greasy he said he gonna KO kid cold he said he gonna do you like he did you know Crawford did your brother um. So, I mean, like I said before, man, um, yeah, I mean, he talking that talk. He talking that talk. So. You know, but that's what you need. Niggas talking shit. You know, if he talking English, the way he talking, it sounds like he might speak English, bro. You got one hell of a translator. So, you know, at some point he got to see him, and at some point Canelo gonna have to either drop the WBA or fight him, which they not gonna, uh, which they not going to uh, force Canelo to do nothing. So. Uh, you know, so. But you know, you say, "Hey man, this do square business though." You square business, and it won't disappoint. I tell you that it probably be the fight of the year. But you know, if you had to ask me, like, well, "What would you like to see him do to get that fight?" And I told y'all heard that Caleb Plant and Benavidez are supposed to be next. But I think Anthony Durrell might can get Caleb Plant, so he might derail those plans. All right. So if you look at the ranking system, right? Let me. Uh, here we go. So uh, let's go all the way up. So you say, well, who would you like to see him fight? I mean, you know, he's been out the ring since beating Alante as Fox. Hold on. So that was what? That was a minute ago. That was, oh, he got a fight scheduled 604 versus Calvin Henderson at the uh, 5 1 and 1 at the. Uh, Armory in DC in Minneapolis. That's pretty much where you fight at. But let's see. So we pull up the rank in the system. John Ryder said no. Plan ain't fighting him. You know, you know, who that like we say, man, give him the 10 fights, and then you know, he should be able to give him the 10 fights. Say who I like 10 fight. Uh Jesse Hart, who barely just won this weekend. Um can't get Billy Joe Saunders in there. Can't get Danny Jacobs in there. He just asked for five million dollars allegedly to fight y'all boy, uh, I mean Guya. So I'll probably say Jesse Hart, if Lemieux put on a good show, I'll go after Lemieux, you know, if he put on a good show this weekend. Um, if Anthony Durrell beat Kayla Plant, I'll go after that fight. Um, who else we, Desmond Nicholson, that's a good fight to go after. He fighting Calvin Henderson. We look at him already number 11, but Desmond Nicholson, it's a people name that people know. Um, Zach Parker. Um so, you know, there's some of the dudes I go after. Uh, Federer Shuvanoff is another guy, game fighter, not sure what he's been doing. I go after him. So that's my list to get him there. If Lemieux look good Saturday, come after Benavidez. Federer Shuvanoff, uh, Zach Parker, Jesse Hart, 
Um, that's four. Um, Anthony Durrell, if he beat Caleb Plant, that's about five. He should fight three or four of those guys, then get in the ring. At least get the 10 wins and then, then you know, versus some guys that people know. And so he, he they should really be putting him right back in the ring after this Calvin Henderson fight. And we can look at who Calvin Henderson is. Uh, nickname Hot Sauce from Fad, uh, Residence is Fad Arkansas from Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, 73 inch reach, six foot. He's 15 1 and 1, never been stopped. He lost to Isaiah Sneen, um, who was still undefeated. Um, Ulta Jones is manager of agent, 16 and 0 and 12 KOs. Uh, and really fought nobody, but uh, well, yeah, he got some dudes with some decent records on his resume, you know. So, but uh, yeah, he looked look, look, look pretty good, so um, so yeah, I mean, had a draw, so you know, he ain't never been stopped, so that's something he's gonna have to do. Uh, this is he's been 10 before, been eight before, he's never been 12, so it's a 12 rounder, and um. I see it before it's interesting, but the way how greasy old boy talking though, he talking too greasy, bro. He talking too greasy, and um, like I said before, it is what it is. Gonna be that's gonna have to strap his nuts on, and um, eventually he got to see this guy. He's six one, seventy eight and a half inch reach. This dude damn near got heavyweight reach. He get his reach bigger than I think it's longer than Big Baby Anderson. So he and, he, and I think he excuse me, and I think he legitimately uh. I think he legitimately 24 years old or close to it. So he not one of them older Cubans that say they're younger neither. So um you know, it's gonna be very, very interesting. So, yep. But let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your channel, notification. We go live and drop the video financial support support the channel. Cash App, Dallas Hunt, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Other than that, man, I appreciate the love and support. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, go live, drop the video. Let me know what's in the comment section. Peace.